And welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome everybody to the first episode of In the Lab. And I am your host, the Fantasy Tycoon. And this is, video is being brought to you by Fantasy Football One on One. If you want to follow me, if you have questions, you can always Google or Bing the Fantasy Tycoon. Hit enter. That's my whole page. You want to interact with me on Twitter, Story 5, Google Plus, whatever, we're there. Um, also, the website is there, and if you have pressing questions, you can always email me at thefantasytypoon at hotmail.gov. And uh, this is a little series that we're doing now uh, called In The Lab. And uh, what we're doing here now, guys, we're trying to uh, show you things that uh, we see uh, when we watch a film and we're critiquing a player. And we want to show you things now so you can put your eyes on it too and see exactly what we're seeing as well. And um, this uh, particular segment is just a little something that I thought we'll come up with. And this is our 2015 wide receiver, number one wide receiver for fantasy football. Uh, and it's no other than Julio Jones. Uh, we're choosing Julio Jones here at Fantasy Football one on one as our number one wide receiver. And um, here's Julio Jones here. Uh, and the reason why we chose Julio Jones over there is Brian. Dan Bryant is physical. They're both physical. They both have good hands. They both run good routes. They both play the X, which is in now, the W, and the Z. So, number one wide receiver guy, he has to be able to move around like right? this. That's one. He has to be multi. He has to be able to multi pass and understand all three opposites. Number two, you have to have a quarterback. You have to have a quarterback who can make anticipation throws. And when you say anticipation throws, that's making a throw before the wide receiver is even thinking about the ball. And that's the difference between Marcus Mariota and James Winston right now. Uh, a lot of guys, uh, I mean, if you look, when you're looking at the film, you see James Winston making anticipation throws uh, above Marcus Mariota, which is basically offense. Right? That's not saying Marcus Mariota can't do it. It's just saying it's not a film. Uh, uh, the presence, his, his presence of making anticipation throws uh, is, is not unfilmed like it is with James, with James Winston. And when you look at it, uh, that's what leads to a lot of interceptions and things of that nature. It's because he is making anticipation throws. And anticipation throws is when the, the, when the quarterback is going to the spot. The receiver has to, uh, the receiver has to have the ability and the word all to get to that spot. Now, you look at this play here. Uh, Matt, this is Matt Ryan here at the line doing a pre-snap read. Uh, you have the strong safety here, and you have the free safety here. Uh, they're in nickel coverage. Uh, this is one-on-one. -on -one. Matt Ryan sees that right off. Matt Ryan sees right off that this is one-on-one -on -one coverage. Uh, and one back, one tight end. So they're in 11 personnel. Um, now Todd Bowles likes the blitz, which he did well with this Arizona Cardinals defense, which is why he's now the head coach uh, for the New York Jets. Now, as Matt Ryan is calling out the mic now, calling out the mic, which is here. So they're setting the protections. So who's blocking who? Is based on the mic. So, as, as Matt Ryan approaches the line and approaches the center, he sees the free safety creeping. See him? See him? Creeping up. Now, as he creeps up, that's automatically his one on one cover. And this is Patrick Peterson here. Now, let's break this down a little further. Patrick Peterson, right before this game uh, took place, was talking a lot of jump on I mean, he was like, Julio, I'm going to roast you. Julio, I'm just going to beat you. Julio, I'm going to own you. 
and then you look at videos go to the channel no it, it, and that's what you that's what you like guys you, you like a man who understands he's great i don't have to prove nothing to you i'm great i know i'm great I came out here and beat Patrick Peterson like a drunk but here's the thing after he beat Patrick Peterson he didn't get in his face he didn't push the football or spin it on him he just manhandled him and, and like a like, like a day at work like a regular day at the office he just came home like this was great nothing you, you, you were nothing to me basically and that sent a better message um as opposed to you know doing the trash talk and things of that nature that's another reason why we like to do this so now here he is in the room so okay no man on me all right here we go all right still creeping he's still creeping up now he's going to come over and try Strong safety is going to come over and try to make a play. But Matt Ryan already knows. Now, they went from cover two to one single high, and he's way over here. He's way over to the strong side of the formation. All right, here we go. Boom. Ball is high. Matt Ryan is looking off the defender now. But he sees it. He's getting a whiff of what's getting ready to go down. Uh oh, the four new hit. He blitzed it. So now, like we said, basically one on one cover to it. He's already with him. Already, right now. He didn't put hands on him at the line or, or try to get physical. And now, with, with the rules being the way they are, and, uh, supporting the wide receiver, he's burning. That's toast. Now, the throw he's about to make. Only nine quarterbacks in the NFL make this throw right now. Uh, so, let's just continue to look. Alright, that Ryan, now he's looking. Now he's seeing. Now he's like, uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Steven Jackson coming up to block the blitzer, take the blitzer. So, Matt Ryan has a good pocket. Watch. Watch how soon soon the ball comes out. This is anticipation. Throwing before you receive it is even aware the ball is in the air. Alright, boom. Ball is out. Ball is right here. Ball is right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is the football. Right there. Look, look at Julio isn't even coming out of his break here. This is anticipation at its best. Like I said. Eight, nine, maybe ten quarterbacks in the NFL right now can make this play. That's why quarterback is so, is such a huge, huge, huge. You see Cleveland don't have one. You see what they're doing. They don't have one. Oakland has one now. Derek Carr can do this. Absolutely. Derek Carr and, and the white kid, the Kevin White kid, or the Cooper kid, they can do this. Derek, Derek Carr can do this right now. Uh... Here we go. There's the ball. Yeah. It'll pull it down. There's the ball right there. Julio still isn't coming out of the first one. And here we go. He's going to catch it down at the five yard line. The ball is still in the air. Back to like you said. He, this is your strong safety here. Trying to come over my clip. Matt Ryan already knew he wasn't uh, going to be able to make that play in the pre snap. So the post snap. Read is what actually happened. He was right. All right, he got the ball. Boom. All right, Julio just caught the ball. Uh, now, this is what you call physical talent here. Now, when you look at this play, what does it remind you of? It reminds you exactly of the Dead Brown plays in the NFC uh, Championship game. The one that they called a, a fumble. I mean, the one that they call an incomplete pass when it was actually, uh, it was actually just such a spectacular play that the referees just couldn't, referees didn't, just didn't understand physical talent. Here we go. Now he's making a, a dive for the end zone. This is, this is just straight out physical talent at his own display. Session. Look, got up, the ball down. Got up, just throws the ball down right here. Not in his face. Patrick Peterson like, no, he's right now. He got it. Julio Jones, work is done. Give him a little dance. 
I'm gone. All right, now let's work it from the uh, other angle of the coaches. All right, now you get a little better view of what happened. Is it? Is your that's a strong safety. He's going to come over, try to come over the top. Matt Ryan sees he's blitzing. He knows the ball has got to come out high. Here he comes. He's creeping. He's creeping up. Steven Jackson is going to meet him right in here and handle that to make this play possible. Can Devontae Freeman do this? I don't know yet, but we'll see. Here he comes. All right, ball is out. So as we've seen, the ball is out. Julio is still running downfield. Ball is in the air. There goes Julio. Here it comes. Catch. Manhandle. Six. Do a little dance. Now, 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 you see why we have named Julio Jones as fantasy football one on ones. 2015 number one wide receiver for the year. Dynasty Keepers, Redraft, whatever, but 2015 Julio Jones is fantasy football one on one number one wide receiver. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of In the Lab. I am your host, the Fantasy Calculator.